So now that we have the basic UI set up, it's time for us to start animating it. So like I had mentioned earlier, React Native does not support shared element transitions by default. So when we click this image, it's not this image that's going to transition to their next state. We'll create a duplicate of this image, which we'll animate and take to the next transition. If we had only one image, it would be easy to refer to that image. But now, since we have multiple images in the scroll view, we'll need to get a reference to each image to be able to swap them out. So what we'll do is we'll create an object that creates a reference to all the images. So let's create a component we'll mount. And inside that, let's say this dot all images and set that to an empty object. Now here inside our image, let's set the reference by saying ref, pass in the image and then say this dot all images. We need the index of each image and we'll set that to the image. So as I can see here, we haven't passed in the index here. So let's put in the index as well which is the second argument of the map method. So now all our images are getting stored in our this.all images. Next, let's handle the click on the image. So here inside our touchable without feedback, let's put in non-press and we'll point to a this.open image method and we'll pass in the index as the parameter. Now let's create this method here. We'll say open image. And here let's pass in the index as well. So what the open image method will do is Firstly, it'll measure the coordinates of the particular image that was clicked and store those coordinates into a variable that we'll create so that we can reference it later. Next, it'll update the state of the active image to the image that was clicked. And lastly, we'll animate the image to the position that we want it to go to. So let's start by creating our state object. Here on the top, let's create a constructor. Let's call super as always. And here we'll say this dot state is equal to and the state we want to create is active image and we'll set that to null because in the beginning there is no active image inside the open image method let's measure the image that was just clicked so we'll say this dot all images pass in the index dot measure which is a method provided to us by react native inside this we get a couple of values which is x y the width the height the x coordinate and the y coordinate on the page, which is page X and page Y. So the coordinates we're interested in are the width, height, page X and page Y. So the first thing we want to do is we want to store these coordinates into another variable, which we can access later. So here in our component will mount, let's say this dot old position, set that to an empty object as well. The purpose of this will be to animate the image back to this initial state. So once the image animates and we press X on the top here or the cross on the top here, we want to remember what the original position was to be able to animate it back. So here we'll say this dot old position dot X and we'll set that to page X dot Y and set that to page Y. And similarly, we'll set the height and width. Now that we have our old image coordinates out of the way, we also need to set up the coordinates for our new image. We're yet to create the view that will hold the new image, but let's set up the coordinates. So here we'll have to create two animated values. Since an animated value only has an X, Y position, one will take care of the height and width and one will take care of the X and Y position. So let's say this dot position is equal to a new animated dot value X, Y and at this dot dimensions is equal to new animated dot value xy as well. So here what we'll do is we'll say this dot position dot set value for the x value again we'll set page x for the y value we'll set page y and similarly for the dimensions let's say this dot dimensions dot set value set the x to the width and the y to the height. So as you can see, we're setting the coordinates of the new image to be the same as that of the image that was clicked. So the user will not be able to tell that a duplicate image was placed on top of the original image. Now let's create the view that will hold the new image. So coming here outside the scroll view, let's put in another view. Now we have to understand that this view will have to be absolutely positioned to take up the complete screen. So inside this, let's give it a style. I will say style sheet dot absolute fill. So our aim is to animate this image that's clicked into this view. 
But right now, you'll notice if we try and click the image, we cannot do anything. That's because this view is actually blocking the scroll view. So to fix this, we'll use something known as pointer events. And we'll check if an image is active, that is this.state.active image, then we'll set it to auto. Otherwise, we'll not let the click happen. Now, if you notice, we can scroll. However, when we click the image, we want the scroll to stop because we want this image to animate. But right now, if we click the image, nothing is happening. That's because in our open image method, we're not updating our active image state. So here, let's say this dot set state. And let's update the active image to the images and get the index, which we had anyways passed to the open image method. Now you'll notice when we scroll, it works, but when we click, it'll stop scrolling. So now we have our main view set here. Inside this, we want to have two views. One view will hold the image on the top here and one view will have the text at the bottom, which will describe the image. So let's create our two views. The first view will have a flex of two and the second view will have a flex of one. Inside the first view to hold the image, we'll use an animated dot image. The source of that image will depend on this dot state dot active image. If that's true, then we'll get this dot state dot active image dot source. Otherwise we'll pass in null. The source, if you remember, is coming from here. We're storing our image with an ID and source. Let's save that and test that out. So now if we click the image, we see a duplicate is created but it's not styled the way we want it to be styled. So let's give it some styles. So here, by default, we'll give it a resize mode of cover, which is the same as the original image. And we set the top to zero, left to zero, height to null, and width to null. We're setting these by default to zero and null because we want the styles to be displayed from our animated style. We had stored that style in our open image method here inside our position and our dimensions when the image was clicked. So here in our render method, let's say constant active image style. We'll set the width to this dot dimensions dot X, the height to this dot dimensions dot Y, the left position to this dot position dot X and the top position to this dot position dot Y. Now we can pass this active image style to our animated image. So here, let's put this into an array and pass in active image style. Now, if we test that out, you notice that this image has curved borders, but if you click this image, we get a duplicate of the image on top, which does not have those curved borders. That means we are duplicating our image successfully. So though our image is getting duplicated successfully, if we put a border width of one on our top view here, you'll notice that that image is actually not fitting into that view and it's coming out of the view. So to make the image fit in, what we'll do is we'll give this top view a reference. So let's say ref equal to, and inside this we'll pass in the view and we'll say this dot view image and we'll set that to the view. So now we have a reference to this particular view where we want the image to be animated. Now in our open image method, once we set the active image, let's put in a callback method. And here again, we'll use the magic method of measure on the view image that we just set. So we'll say this dot view image dot measure. Inside this, we'll get the same values. In this case, I'll use a D for destination. So destination X, destination Y, destination width, destination height, and similarly page X and page Y. Now is where we'll animate the duplicate image values to these particular values. So we run an animated dot parallel and inside that we'll say animated dot timing this dot position dot x to a value of destination page x in a duration of about 300 milliseconds. Let's duplicate this. And let's change this to this dot position dot y d page y here this dot dimensions dot x and this will become d width this dot dimensions dot y and this will become d height. And let's start this animation. Now if you click the image, we see that the image nicely goes inside that particular view. So we're running all these animations in parallel and we're setting their values to the value of the view whose reference we took. 
Now all that's left is to bring the content out from the bottom of this image and also put a close button here which animates the image back. So I'll complete that in the next video. Till then, I hope you guys try this out. Thanks as always for watching.